Hello, Gunner. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. a shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> uh, caught some burn off a rope. It happened. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. Well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Jay Connor. Hello, Dr. White. Diana. Hello there, Connor. Diana and I were just having a look over our equipment and facilities. They've seen a great deal of use in the last few days. So things have turned for the better. Better than it ever was in Boston. I was missing my apprentice when things first exploded, but now I have Diana. She's better than he was in every respect. And are you happy, Diana? I never thought this would be my path, but now that I'm here, I admit it feels right.
One day, Doc, one day, you'll find Bye, one, my too. love. She'll come wandering into the village and light up your life. Mark my words, I'm telling you. I have a sense for these things. Might be, might be. Ahoy, Connor! Look at us. Three bachelors waiting for love, or waiting for a drink. Whatever comes first. <laughs> drink wins! <laughs> Women will be lining up for you, Doc. I'm telling you. Ladies love a healer. It's me that's doomed. Who wants to marry a woodworker, eh? Who? Nobody is who. Hogwash. You brought the folding chair to the Americas. You're a pioneer, an entrepreneur. Women appreciate a man with vision. <laughs> What about you, Connor? How is it a man like you has no wife? I would not be a good husband. I have not the time to give. One day, perhaps. Old man. Achilles. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. 
He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service, then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God. Not my God, at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force. And he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life. So he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready. So here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe. At least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, 
we win. When we stop the Templars. It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you. As I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you. Wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs>